Virgil Arab as, as a design um, is really a visionary project. It was part of a continuum in the UAE to create a symbol uh, for the UAE that would be recognisable. When we were asked to design a project, we were asked to come up with something that would be very much a representative icon for the UAE in the eyes of the world. Um, when the young families and team members came out to Dubai in early 1993, um, there was nothing here that really set it apart. And the vision of the rulers here was to create a city-state and a, a, an economy that was moving away from oil and was engaging the rest of the world. And Burj Al Arab was really the first project to actively try and do that. Okay, the, the Burj Al Arab is 320 meters, uh, 321 meters high, um, primarily because the detailed design architect that was sizing the pin on the top of the building decided that 321 sounded rather good as a height, and there's nothing more scientific than that about it. We chose a fabric wall because we knew that glass would create far too much heat gain and, and just not be a sensible cladding material uh, for an atrium. And it would mean that the air conditioning costs would be too high. It just wouldn't be at all ecologically friendly. The fabric itself had only ever been used as a roof. So it was technology that had been around, but it was using it in an innovative and creative way. And that's really what architects and engineers through the ages have always done picked up an existing piece of technology, developed it, and made it better.